Well, if you'd like to get access to some of the advanced uh, system commands, uh, there's a way you can do that. Now, normally you can go up here, like to right-click on the PC, and you can get to the Manage Computer stuff, or you can come down here in the All Apps down here and find them here in your list. As a matter of fact, you can actually right-click on the uh, Windows icon and see a lot of your commands right here. But uh, we're going to show you how to put them onto your Start menu as tiles. Now, to do that, we're going to go. Uh, down here, and you'll see that on my start menu, I've already uh, started doing this uh, to show you uh, where we could place it or where you could place it if you want. But I'm going to go down here to the All Apps menu, click on it. Now they're not going to be listed here in their alphabetical order by their name. Instead, we have to go down to the W's, uh, which will find them under grouped underneath different titles. And the first one we're going to look at is the Windows Administrative Tools. If you hover over that, you'll see the title, and you click to open that up, and you'll see all the different ones here. And all you got to do is click and hold, drag it where you want it. Uh, let's grab a couple of this. Um, oh, we can do any of these. Uh, Pretty management, I'm probably not going to use it often, but the ones you commonly want to be able to use. Uh, system information, uh, all different things. So but then we're also going to go down here and look under... Uh, Windows System, and there's a command prompt. We'll grab that guy, and we'll grab. Uh, just add. You can add and group them over here. By the way, let's go grab. Run. And grab that over there, and plop that guy in place. So now that we got some over here, uh, well, you can rearrange them uh, any way you want. Uh, I'm gonna go grab uh, one more. Okay. And uh, now that you got them where you want, uh, you can name that group. Let's click on above it and just say uh, System Tools and put that in there. So let's uh, just click all the way from that, and then that gives us the title. And now, again, you can rearrange them, but uh, and they'll launch the program that you want. So I'm immediately in Control Panel, no need to go hunting for it in any other submenu. And the same thing goes for any one of these other ones here. If we click on System Information, and there we have it. Let's do one more. We'll go ahead and close that guy down, and we'll come back over here to our menu, and we'll look at uh, disk cleanup. Click on that, and boom, immediately launches disk cleanup. No go, no hunting anything down there either. Now, once you got them all, all the ones you want on there, you may decide it takes up too much space. Now, these are just like any other tile. You can right-click and resize them to small. Now, you lose the name of the function, uh, and you'll, all you get is the tile icon. Uh, that icon is distinctive for every one of these, so you may be able to recognize them uh, once you do it, but it takes up a lot less space if you just make them small. Now here's my menu all done and everything. And by the way, you can hover over these and for a second, and they'll give you the name of what it is in case you forget. So it's a good way of having a little quick link to your programs uh, that you may use uh, frequently to control your PC. All you got to do is click on them, and boom, the function comes up. So there it is, a little smarter way to use your start menu in Windows 10. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.